In this video, we're going to cover how you can find the equation of a line when you're just given two coordinates. So in questions like this one, where we're being asked to find the equation of a straight line that passes through the points minus 2, minus 3, and 2, 5. And we have to write the equation in the form of y equals mx plus c. Now, you could, of course, just plot these two points on a graph and then use any method to find the equation. But in this video, we're going to do it entirely without the graph and just work with the numbers. Regardless of which technique we use, what we normally need to do when we're finding the equation of a line is find m and c. Because we want our equation to look something like this, where m and c are actual numbers, but y and x stay as y and x. You can think of the method for these questions as having three separate steps. The first is to work out the gradient, which remember is m. The second step is to then use that gradient to work out c. And then the third step is to plug the m and the c values into the y equals mx plus c equation to get your answer. So first of all, let's find the gradient, which remember is a change in y divided by the change in x. And we can find it using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we think of the minus 2 minus 3 as our first point, and the 2, 5 as our second, then on the top of our equation, we'll have 5 minus negative 3. And on the bottom, we'll have 2 minus negative 2. Then we can simplify this to 5 plus 3 on top over 2 plus 2 on the bottom. Because remember, whenever we take away a negative number, that's the same thing as adding that number. So we now have 8 divided by 4, which is just 2. So the gradient of our line, or m, is 2. Now that we've found m, the second step is to use that gradient to work out c. To do that, we take our gradient and one of our coordinates from the question and plug them into the y equals mx plus c equation. It's up to you which of the coordinates you pick, but here it's easier to go for the 2, 5 coordinate because both of these numbers are positive. So let's get rid of the negative 2, negative 3 one. So if we plug these x and y values along with our m equals 2, into the y equals mx plus c equation, we'll have 5 equals 2 times 2 plus c, which simplifies to 5 equals 4 plus c. So if we subtract 4 from both sides, we'll find that 1 equals c. So our c value is 1. And finally, for step 3, now that we know that c equals 1 and m equals 2, we can plug these values into the y equals mx plus c equation to find that the general equation for this line is y equals 2x plus 1. So to sum all of this up, we first found m by finding the gradient. Then we used that m value and one of the sets of coordinates to work out c. And then we plugged m and c into the y equals mx plus c equation to get our answer. Let's try one more. So this time, we're trying to find the equation of the straight line that passes through the points 0 minus 3 and 8 minus 7. And again, we need to give our answer in the form of y equals mx plus c. Like before, the first thing you need to do is find the gradient. So if we make 0 minus 3 our first point and 8 minus 7 our second, then you just do minus 7, take away minus 3, over 8, take away 0, which is minus 4 over 8, or just minus 1 over 2. So our gradient m is minus 1 half. Next, you can use the minus 1 half that we just found as m, and one of the coordinates, for example, 0 minus 3, as your x and y, 
and plug them all into the equation y equals mx plus c to find out the unknown value of c. So that will give us minus 3 equals minus 1 half times 0 plus c. And as minus 1 half times 0 is just 0, that part will cancel out, leaving us with just minus 3 equals c. So now that we've found m and c, all you have to do is plug them into a new y equals mx plus c equation to get y equals minus a half x minus 3, and that will be the equation of your line. Anyways, that's everything for today's video. So hope that was helpful. If it was, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and cheers for watching.